quickly speak about this. It's epic picture courtesy of Dasha from um, Red Scare Podcast. She stands alongside Alex Jones and Anna, also from Dasha. And they had a pretty interesting, wide-ranging interview with um, Alex Jones. Uh, I think it's in part due to his documentary coming out called Alex's War sometime in early, I think next year or something, so 2022, I think I saw on the flyer. And the interview is fucking awesome. i got to be honest. This picture, when it went um, on socials and everyone saw it, it kind of broke my side of Twitter and the internet a little bit. Um, all these kind of social commentator, you know, dirtbag leftists, kind of, you know, dusty white people who look like they only smoke rolling cigarettes or vape a lot and drink coffee and drink m espresso martinis and shit. You know those kind of dusty white people, isn't it? Um, the kind of ones that ironically know all the lyrics of Damn from Kendrick Lamar and that kind of vibe, right? Those kind of guys um we're all going got their panties in a twist about this issue but i really enjoyed it man i'm a big fan of red scare anyway i love the podcast listen to it quite often it took me a while to get past the vocal fry shit with these girls um it's fucking annoying and the pace of how they speak but once you start getting used to their tone of voice um their humor or their sense of humor and ov overall you start to kind of forget about the vocal fry um you start to forget about the some bits of pretentiousness that lie in there and you just enjoy it for what it is a kind of art ho culture podcast where they sort of talk about things that they're into things that they've seen great recommendations along the way great chat and just kind of two girls kind of figuring it out as they go along um and i love it i got to be honest i'm a big fan of it i've never missed an episode i backed them on patreon i love everything about it and i saved this um alex jones interview for a while i think it's been a week now uh, maybe, uh five days of, of course i think maybe less than a week if i was that longer than a week in the internet age but it's about two hours long and it's really good um the director of the documentary also pipes in here and there but she does really well in terms of just letting alex have the have the have the floor but she does ask some great questions and just kind of offer some insight in terms of the documentary but i thought in terms of humanizing alex jones this might have done a better job maybe because it's two women and he was kind of flirting super heavily with um dasha i'm assuming dasha must look slightly like his wife maybe alex jones has a thing for blondes or just in general he's you know he's had a crush on dasha since the infamous days of her doing that video with the info words girl which was wearing that sailor outfit i don't know but he was flirting quite heavily with her which was quite cute and gross to kind of hear um audio wise right audio or hearing somebody flirt just without seeing the visual of it cringes you out more than it you think it would do right it does i don't know why because you can't really see the face you don't really know what's going on she i mean you know, that just seemed a little uh that should just seem um flattered by the interest or by the compliments which was nice to see but anyway in general the interview was great i think it humanized alex jones in a way that no other interview has i think a lot of that had to do with the strong female energy that he got from both of these women and the fact that they both came in there with good intentions i think that kind of radiated in the podcast i think also he's probably in the stage of his life considering the lawsuits he's going through and the fact that he lost i think one recently um he's probably gonna have to pay massive amounts of fines and shit like he's on you know he's on a bit of a he's on a bit of a tilt at the moment he's probably kind of mellowed out as well over the years especially off the back of all that sandy hook nonsense which i still think has to go down to one of his biggest fuck-ups ever do you know what i mean that whole you know basically saying you know the you know the children that died in that tragedy were fucking crisis actors is just fucking what whatever he said in that mark was just fucking insane i can only imagine what a parent um of one of those kids that died can feel about alex jones when they're seeing him plus with over the media and the press but again i'm a big fan of redemption i think people should be given second chances i don't think you should be judged solely based on the worst thing that you you have done in your life i think people are more layered and interesting or no people are more layered than that or more complex i also think life isn't that binary isn't that black and white isn't that simple just because some person did that thing doesn't necessarily mean they don't have a right to live or exist i think people have a right to live and at least and to ex and to have an opportunity to kind of redeem themselves in some way shape or form especially if they're trying their best to correct the wrongs that they've done in the past and i think for the most part um he has tried to do that he even distanced himself from trump that's how bad it got right he even distant even denounced trump yeah man i never thought that would happen so that was a big deal in terms of alex jones but again i thought it was a really interesting podcast very wide-ranging interview great to get some of his thoughts and feelings on certain things there are parts where you kind of zone out and he kind of rambles into you know into nothing space but again it's just alex jones it's what he does but i think the girls do a good job in terms of tethering him and kind of asking him some really um interesting questions he opens up a bit personally about some stuff that he probably hasn't done in the past and all in all 
a very enjoyable interview. I honestly have to say, I really enjoyed it. I have to be honest. I thought it was really good. I didn't really get all the backlash and the attention people were saying. I guess it's because of what he represents, what he said in the past. Nowadays, if you stand next to somebody that people don't like, automatically you are also somebody that should be denounced and cancelled and not allowed to earn a career and stuff, which is probably why they're... they're, they're I would imagine... Anna and Dash are probably thanking their lucky stars that they started a, they started the Patreon when they did, right? Instead of just relying on sponsors and doing what everyone else does on podcasts, they went straight to the um, crowdfunding sort of model so that now they're in a position where, like, as long as their fans like what they're doing, it doesn't matter what everyone else says. Do you know what I mean? That's the bare major thing. They don't have to kowtow about to sponsors and shit. They can just stick to what they do. But then the other thing they got the issue with is that because of what they speak about and maybe their opinions are a little bit grating, they can't operate on the mainstream platforms, right? I think they tried to set up a shop, a Shopify when they first launched their merch and Shopify deleted their their account because I guess people complained and said, how can you house these people? Blah, 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 blah. And they got kicked off of there and they had to set up a new thing, right? So that that's the only issue that you kind of run into when you are outspoken or you kind of operate on the fringes and that sort of stuff. But the good thing is that you get the freedom to do and say what you want and create cool content. This is cool content, man. They got to hang out with Alex Jones. They got to shoot guns with him, you know, um, talk about his life and shit, like got some great photo opportunities. I thought personally it was a really, really good interview. I really, really enjoyed it, man. But maybe I'm in the minority. I really enjoyed it. Check it out if you haven't given it a chance. And obviously try and give it a chance. Red Scare podcast available on most streaming platforms and all that shit.